Yo know, guys, Gary Bird here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Soul Blazer. In the last part, we explored the underground castle, and in this episode, we're going to explore some more of the underground castle because, as you may remember last time, we turned the wheel or the water mill so that the elevator can move. So now we have access to the elevator so we can now explore more of the underground castle as you can see right there and now we have these plant things that are just spawning all over the place let's get rid of these guys what did we release this time? we released an old man you know his sprite doesn't even look like he's an old man but I would go with probably like middle age man. We released this time, we released a goat. But not just any ordinary goat, it's a magic goat that talks! Ooh. Ow. Alright, we got these two monster things, and we also have those two fireplaces, goblin things, tuning at us. Oh, okay, one. And I missed. That's why I hate the flame ball magic. And we release Lisa. You hear some light snoring coming from inside the house. Oh, it doesn't sound creepy at all. Oh, oh, you're back. Okay. And I released another tulip. That was more flying. Oh, ow. And some more plant. Plants are the boss kind of thing. We released this time. We released an architect. Again. And I have this thing right here. Come on. Get it? Yeah, I, I got it. Oh my god, this is so tedious! I am not done yet, okay. This is they spawn faster now. With our health, oh my god. And then another one comes. Alright, oh, I leveled up just in time. And it's probably the last one. Yeah, this is the last one, and it spawns much quickly, and I'm losing health faster than anything else. Alright. Okay. And we released another goat. And I lost him. Ball magic actually worked this time. Yeah, 
Troll. And then I release the tulip. Don't you did I for ah. I think I forgot something. Shoot. Yeah, I'm almost dead too. I have a medical herb, so it should be okay. I'm gonna have to go back. This is why you would please test out the section you're playing as so we won't forget. I hope I don't have to do this on camera and just speed everything else. Speed, 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 speed. Jeez. How did I even miss that? That's crazy. Forgetfulness. Call me Sir Forgetfulness. Okay. And we released Ivy to get to the tulip in the old man. And the tool shop owner's son. Alright, let's head down here. We can't go down there yet. Hey, more of these part guys. Oh, okay. Okay. I released an old man! Yay! I hear screaming coming from inside the house. Hey, how are you guys doing? The update through this fairy will tell you is that there are monsters that you cannot defeat with the sword I currently have. Alright, now we're back here because Gary Bird is an idiot and he decided to walk all the way back here instead of taking the ferry. Maybe this tool will tell you how to use the dream rod and you can only use it when you're sleeping. And this guy is going to tell you how to dance. Yeah, I know it's a shoulder button. They do the crab walk. I just call it the funky dance. So you what? Just walking around doing nothing? I'm beginning to worry about you. There's some of the humor in this is actually pretty good. Uh, let's try and get a medical herb. Oh, in the sun. I love the sun. Let's watch. I'm helping my liver. Would you like to buy some goat food? You want to know how much it costs? Well, how about one billion dollars plus tax? No! And we receive it for free. And we still have the goat and Yeah, this goat will tell you about the chief and the painting. And the goat will tell you the secret if 
You give him the food. And where's this goat gonna go? <laughs> goat gonna go. Go, go. He's gonna go into the show shop and demand some food. That's clever. Anyway, this is the architect, Gandhi. Not to be confused with Gandhi. Why would you be confused? I don't know. Oh man, a strange face appeared. It's terrifying. Anyway, you'd be sad too if you were stuck in that painting. Yeah. Yeah, these sometimes things that happen in trees can come true in reality. In here we have Lisa just sleeping. And we stare oddly over her. She's sleeping. So, how about we use the dream rod? Head. Yeah, technically it's the girl's head. Technically she's actually Lisa. Also, we opened the way down to that area. There was no answer. And then she kicks us out and wants us to come back after we've been standing over her while she was trying to sleep. Yeah, she hit, she hit it somewhere, and it's in the underground castle, which means that area we opened up is now accessible. So how about we go there now? And of course, now that we're back here, we can now access this area, and without no difficulty, all we have Leo's brush. What brush is it? Is it a paintbrush, or is it a hairbrush? Does and say, I don't know why I paused there. Yeah, they just run into you. Doesn't matter. And we released another old man. Alright, now that we're back here again, how about we uh, talk to Lisa again? Shall we? This time she will say something on the line, so... And now it actually is a paintbrush. Okay, this is confused because it's literally, when I looked at it, it like, she actually said, Lisa pulled out the note and read it. Take care of your friends, turbo the dog, Larry the dolphin, Larry the snail, and Marie the doll. The animals mentioned it. Okay, first of all, doll, not only really an animal, just, just throwing it out there. I have a high school education, so I know that a doll is not an animal. Anyway, now that we have the paintbrush, we can now go inside that painting as the goat actually told us. And we were dragging to the painting. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> 